So it is never too late to learn something new, and there's an organization in Minneapolis that's helping you do just that. We're referring to Leonardo's Basement. It teaches everything from engineering to technology, even art. Mm -hmm. Shayla Reeves is there to find out all how it works. <laughs> Shayla, great to see you. Good morning. Hey, good morning to you. If you're someone who likes to kind of tinker and you're curious and you're wondering how this or that might come together, Leonardo's Basement is a place where people of all ages can solve problems in, in a creative way. I'm here with Tracy Nielsen, uh, one of the co-executive uh, executive directors for Leonardo's Basement. For those who are not familiar, where did we get the name? <laughs> Leonardo's Basement is named for um, Leonardo da Vinci. So we think that if Leonardo da Vinci had a place to go downstairs and work on those ideas and not worry about um, the process or the product as much as the process, that it would look a lot like this. And we've got some of the folks here that are really taking some of those ideas and bringing them to life. Some of the kids here, they're working on their uh, creative masterpieces. They are, <laughs> yes. These are all students who are working this week at one of our um, summer workshops and students take their idea and turn it into something that they can share with other people. And what's great is the, the workshops, they happen year round, right? Yes, we're here all year. So in the summer, it's week long workshops. During the school year, we do, we host adult groups, we host field trips, um, and we have our own workshops where kids come in on school release days and on Saturdays. And what do you enjoy the most about getting to watch people come through this experience, create, and be a part of the magic? Boy, there are so many things, but it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very, I, I, I don't take for granted the vantage point that I get to be able to see kids come in and try something new, a kid who's maybe a little bit fearful of using a tool or trying something, someone who feels like, oh, I'm not good at art or I'm not creative, and then once they're in the pond, they're gonna get wet. And so they will, so they will try, try new things, trying tools, how do people find out about Leonardo's Basement uh, if they want to learn more? Um, so we have a website, leonardosbasement.org. We have an incredibly weak social media presence where we post not very often, but we're, <laughs> but we're there. And that's yeah. a good source of some images and some videos because it is hard to understand until you're in this big, wacky space. Right. And you just see creations everywhere you look, Heather and AJ. So many incredible things to see here. Leonardo's Basement actually around since 1998, right? Yes. Right. right. And helping people bring those ideas to life ever since. Coming up in the next half hour, we'll hear from some of the students that are behind us or some of the other ones involved in the other projects on why they enjoy it so much, uh, what this place does for them when they walk through those doors. Yeah. They may not have a big social media presence, but they got a great website here telling say, you all door, kinds yeah. of good stuff. So I, I love yeah. the classes that you can take throughout yeah. the summer. And then not only that, but Shayla, I'm glad you mentioned that, you know, for during the weekends, but then time that kids have off, they've got yeah. classes there for and that family too. ones, adult family kid ones. ones too. Kids as young as six years old can really bring their imagination to life. I'm here right now with Tracy Nielsen, co-executive director for Leonardo's Basement. Uh, when you come in here, this is really a place for the imagination to play. Absolutely. Yep. Individual kids come and they have their own ideas and they and they make it into something that other people can see and experience and they can try and try again. It doesn't always work the first or the fifth time. And Leonardo's basement inspired by Leonardo da Vinci, a true renaissance man. Yes, <laughs> yes, absolutely. We think if he had a basement in Italy, it would look a lot like this, a lot of good junk. And we're seeing a lot of uh, imagination come to life. When you look all around this room from ceiling to floor, you can see some of the things the kids created. This is a slice of pizza made out of styrofoam. <laughs> yes, it's a, it used to be a couch cushion. Wow! And so we repurpose a lot of a lot of uh, raw material oh, into wow. things. Kids will make things out of things that maybe would have ended up in the dumpster. And what's happening behind us here? What are these guys working on? Ben they, and Ben? They are working on things that things that move. They're working on launchers and things with wheels and things that glide. And right over here we have also Cora and Maddie that are hard at work as well. Yes, and they are doing um, more what we would call a build what you want. So I see some fairy houses. I see a, I see a redesigned thrifted lamp. Um, there's some wind chimes that Maddie made and 
all, all kinds of cool things. And for folks that are interested in coming or bringing their children, um, there are fees for the workshops, but those workshops you were saying, they're on the sliding scale? They are, yep, sliding fee scale based on household income. Yes, yes. and for folks that want to learn about some of the classes, I think what, what was so cool that you were sharing is, you know, kids sometimes worry, oh, if I cut this uh, piece, then I may not have more to play around with, but you guys have plenty of tools and resources so their imagination can really uh, take flight. Exactly, yeah, we keep a lot of raw material here so that kids don't feel that anxiety about maybe trying a new tool or a new material because we, ha we have so much and it also eliminates the competition because no two projects look exactly the same when you have this amount of junk and we use the word junk in a really nice way. <laughs> Some of the workshops quickly that uh, people can sign up for. So for this summer we have CAD design, 3D printing, um, there's um, build what you want, creativity convention, things for students ages 6 to 17. A lot of those unfortunately are full for summer but we're here all year round. And what's so great you know sometimes at home kids may want to take things apart that parents may not want taken apart. They can come here and try it here, save the things at home. Exactly, yes. We keep old appliances, those VCRs and DVD players have a lot of really cool bits. Kids can take them apart and then take those pieces and build something new. There you go. Quickly before we let you go, where can people find you online? Leonardo'sBasement.org. There you go, Heather and AJ, I'll send it back to you. Kids going to be taking apart VCR saying, what is this? What is have this? no idea what a VCR is. But it's cool because <laughs> parents and kids can do it together, yeah. grandparents and kids. It's all really neat yeah. stuff. Yeah, really cool oh. family activity. Shayla Reeves, live for us. Yeah. Yeah. South Minneapolis, Shayla, thank you. <laughs> Workshops year-round are helping people learn about all kinds of things right in Minneapolis. We're talking about Leonardo's Basement. It's teaching things like engineering, art, technology, and more to really help people grow. Shayla Reeves there for us this morning. Shayla, this sounds like something great for families to do, especially as we start to get closer to the school year. I'm thinking of times that maybe kids have off of school. This could be a great option. Absolutely. You see the sparks flying, AJ? <laughs> We're checking out some welding this morning at Leonardo's Basement. Uh, Amaya here demonstrating one of the activities that kids and adults can enjoy when they come here to experience uh, really uh, bringing their creativity to life. I'm here right now with Tracy Nielsen. She's the co-executive director. What's Amaya working on exactly? Amaya is welding a project. I don't know what it is. I won't know until she finishes. So it'll be a surprise for you too. It will be a surprise for me for sure. This is just one of the areas that people can enjoy when they come. Kids as young as six years old getting a chance to tinker when they come to Leonardo's to Space. To make things. Absolutely. We don't have six-year-olds in the welding bay. That's yes. just for our high school students and adults. But absolutely. Kids as young as six come in and use different kinds of tools. Hand saws and drills and um, all kinds of things that they grow and then maybe when they're teens they will come and weld like Amaya. Right, right, right. And what's so cool about this place, it's just the name inspired by Leonardo da Vinci. Yes. And you imagine if he had a basement, this is what it could be. Exactly, that he would have all different kinds of resources and collaborators and stuff and tools and the, and the freedom to make choices about what he made and how he made it. And we're seeing some of these uh, welding projects come to life. Justin, one of the instructors, Everett, one of the students. Um, Justin, what do you enjoy the most about the kids you get to work with and, and the things that they're inspired to create? I really enjoy their creativity and and their drive to just make things. Um, being able to like watch students like Creatively solved problems is just great. Um, yeah, it's. And you, get to, and you get to solve with them trying to determine how do we bring this idea to life. Everett, what are you making right over here? Over here, we're making one of those heavy hitter carnival games where you hit the hammer and then it goes up and rings a bell. And can you, can you kind of show us quickly how it works? You all have been working on this, uh, and Everett will continue to work on this in class, right? Right. Uh, we started working on this on Tuesday and we hope to wrap it up today. All right, Everett, can you show us kind of how this is going to work when you're, you're done? Sure, yeah. So we're going to add a bicycle hook here. So uh, this is going to be what you hit right here. And there's going to be a pin that shoots a little red thing inside of here up. And then you can see it through here. And it's going to hit that bell at the top. There you go, AJ. He's been working on it since Tuesday. That's if you want so to cool learn to more see, about yeah. Leonardo's basement, head over. Isn't it? Oh. <laughs>
Incredible. I'm getting in, in the a, way of science In just here. a couple of days. Incredible to see that. But yeah, great stuff. Sailor Reeves, yeah. Leonardo's basement. Uh, great stuff for families to enjoy. Maybe looking to pick up some engineering skills. That's the place to check out. Sailor, we appreciate it.